Life in the Arctic Tundra by Caitlin. I dedicate this book to my family, Mrs. Weber, and to all greenies. Introduction. You would think the tundra is so cold, nothing could survive there, and the sun is always up. Well, there are animals adapted to survive, and the sun never goes down in the summer, and the sun never goes up in the winter. So what animals are adapted to the cold? What days does the sun stay up and down? Why don't polar bears hibernate? Bear cubs play with their mom. Facts about the tundra biome. It is the youngest biome and it formed 10,000 years ago. There aren't any trees because the ground is frozen so no plants can grow. The dry wind is there and low precipitation makes it a desert-like climate. It is found in Northern Alaska, Canada, and Siberia. The average temperature is minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 28 Celsius. There isn't much vegetation and a unique characteristic that describes the tundra is permafrost. Some threats to the tundra are air pollution and human development. What human development is happening in the tundra? What air pollution has done to the Arctic tundra? Animals. Polar bears are perfect for the tundra. They have black skin, an oily coat, blubber layer, and insulating fur. Only the female bears hibernate because during the winter they go into a den to go give birth to her children. Lemmings are very funny and they are buried in the snow and the snow traps air and it becomes very warm. Lemming in its burrow. Polar bears insulating fur. How animals stay warm. Arctic hares stay warm by staying in groups. You might see hundreds of them huddling together. Arctic ground squirrels are warm because when they sleep, their body temperature goes down and their heartbeat slows down, which surprisingly makes them warmer. Musk ox's fur is so thick and long that it keeps it warm. Arctic wolves with their shorter legs, rounder ears, and smaller muzzle keep them surprisingly warmer. An Arctic hare in the tundra, an Arctic wolf sitting on the snow. Seasons. Winter is the darkest time of year and it starts around early October and ends around early March. In spring, the sun starts rising around March 21st and the sun keeps getting higher and reaches its maximum height around June 21st. In the summer, the sun stays up all the time and that is how it got nicknamed the land of the midnight sun. In the fall is when the sun starts sinking and that starts around September 21st. Arctic tundra in the summer, Arctic tundra in the winter. When the sun is up and down, January 21st, no sun. February 21st, no sun. March 20th, sun is up all day. April 21st, sun is up all day. May 21st, sun is up all day. June 21st, sun is up all day. July 21st, sun is up all day. August 21st, sun is up all day. September 21st, sun is up all day. October 21st, no sun. November 21st, no sun. December 22nd, no sun. Arctic tundra in June, Arctic tundra in January. The menu for muskox, Arctic ground squirrel, Arctic fox, lemmings, polar bear, and Arctic hares. Fun facts. The word tundra comes from the word tundraria, tundraria, which means treeless land. Animal popula populations fluctuate throughout the seasons in the tundra biome. Some animals opt to hibernate during the winter and others migrate to warmer temperatures. The tundra has over 400 varieties of flowers, but there is only 48 different animals. The tundra is the driest place on earth. It gets about 10 inches of rain a year. A tundra flower. Conclusion. Polar bears don't really hibernate, but the females den. The main seasons in the Arctic tundra are winter and summer, but spring and fall is when the sun starts going up and the sun starts going down. I didn't know that the tundra biome is the youngest biome, and with the sun up all day in the summer, 
It is how the tundra got the nickname, the land of the midnight sun.